Hey Math Aces and welcome to Mr. Ace Math. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to multiply fractions by other fractions. And let's start as we always do with the lesson breakdown. And just so you know, you'll find this exact lesson breakdown in the description below with timestamps to each part of the lesson. Feel free to use those timestamps to go to whichever part of the video you think you need the most. First, we'll start with three basic examples of how to multiply fractions by other fractions. Then we'll go into the pause and practice where you'll have some questions of your own to try. After the pause and practice, the answers to those problems will be revealed, followed by the reflection, where we briefly review everything we learned today. But in order to be successful with this lesson, you'll need to have these two basic skills. Number one, you'll have to be strong with your basic multiplication. And number two, you'll need to make sure you know how to simplify fractions. So make sure you know those and let's get started. Here's our first example. We have five over nine times one over two. Our first step is to multiply across. That means first, we'll multiply our numerators, and that will give us the numerator for our answer. And then we'll multiply the denominators, and that answer will give us the denominator for our answer. So let's start by multiplying the top values. We've got five times one, and that gives us five. Then we'll write our fraction line and then multiply across the bottom of the fractions. And 9 times 2 equals 18. And that will be the answer for our new denominator. And step 2 is to simplify if we need to. Here, there's no number that can divide both 5 and 18. That means we're done. So our final answer is 5 over 18. Here's example 2. We've got 4 over 5 times 3 over 8. Let's multiply across the top of our fraction, which means we need to multiply 4 times 3. When we do that, that gives us 12. Then we can write our fraction line under the 12 and multiply across the bottom. And 5 times 8 gives us 40. So now our answer is 12 over 40. So we're done multiplying, which means we're done with step 1. Step 2 is to simplify if we need to. And here, both 12 and 40 can be divided by the same number. The best thing to do would be to divide them by the biggest number that can do that. And that would give us our equivalent fraction. And the biggest number that can divide 12 and 40 is the number 4. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. We'll write our fraction line and then do the bottom. 40 divided by 4 equals 10. And 3 over 10 can't be reduced anymore. That means we're done with step 2 and our final answer is 3 over 10. Let's take a look at our last example. Here we've got 6 over 7 times 5 over 7. Let's go straight to step number 1, which is to multiply across. So we'll multiply our numerators. That means we need to multiply 6 times 5, and that'll give us 30. Then we'll write our fraction line and multiply across the bottom of the fractions, which means we'll have 7 times 7. And that gives us 49. 
Since we finished multiplying across the top and across the bottom, that means we're done with step one. And we can now go to step number two, which is to simplify if we need to. There is no number that can divide both 30 and 49. That means we can't simplify. So we're done with step two, making our final answer 30 over 49. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. Hit the pause button and try these six questions. Once you're done, hit the play button to see if your answers are correct. Ready, set, go. So let's take a look at our answers. Number one is one over two. Number two is one over three. Number three is two over seven. Number four is 35 over 108. Number five is 12 over 25. And number six is five over 28. So how did you do math aces? If you got everything right, I want you to type pause and practice pro in the comments. And don't forget to share this lesson with a friend. So what did we learn from this lesson? To multiply fractions, you must, number one, multiply straight across. That means you multiply the numerators, write your fraction line under that answer, and then multiply your denominators. And step two is to simplify if needed. This will only happen if both your numerator and denominator has some number that can divide both of them. So there you have it, math aces, everything you need to know about how to multiply fractions by other fractions. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, please make sure you put them in the comments below. I would love to help. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in math class. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Questions, comments, leave them down below. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.